why did you choose exclusively Corsica uh, for this kind of a presentation in, uh, in France, in Europe? Uh, I, I was invited uh, to the festival by uh, Sebastian. Um, I was really honored, and there's uh, no way I would have missed it. Um, Sebastian came to the United States to um, to meet with me last year um, uh, after reading my book, and um, a couple of months ago, or a few months ago, he invited me to the festival. And, uh, like I said, it's just a really, it's a really great honor for me to, to be able to come. Mm -hmm. oh, just a few words about Grafson, the first novel, and the relationship with Brooklyn. In this um, Gravesend oh. is the neighborhood that I'm from in, in Brooklyn. Um, it's the neighborhood where my family still lives. Uh, I haven't lived there in, in, a, in a little while, um, uh, but I'm very much uh, haunted by the place and I, I get back there often and it's a place that I think I'll probably spend my whole life writing about and writing about the, the, the people that um, I grew up with and the people that I knew and, and continue to know there. So you're very young but you have a great success, so how do you explain it? <laughs> Am I very young? Uh, um, I don't feel very young, uh, I don't know. Um, 39. I, I, you know, I've been, I've been writing, working at writing my whole life, um, and really, I just, you know, I just want to write the best things that I can write, and write truly about the places that I know and the people that I know. Um, so I, I'm, I'm really, you know, just honored that I, I've had uh, uh, the reception I've had, especially in France, um, because I've long admired uh, writers who, uh, when they aren't recognized elsewhere, are recognized in France. Um, and it means a lot to me to be recognized here in, in any way. Uh, when and how did you start writing? Could you just say a few words about your career as a um, writer? I, I've been writing my whole life. I, I loved writing from a very early age. Uh, uh, I think when I was in high school, I, I wanted to write films. I loved uh, movies um, first and foremost, and so I would try to write. I would try to write screenplays all the time. I was very disciplined about it and very bad at it, uh, and um, so I I did that. And then I tried to be a poet for a long time, um, which I wasn't very good at. Um, but all the while, I loved crime fiction, and I would I would uh, kind of work at short stories and novels. And um, eventually, I realized when I was in my early 20s that that's what I could do, and that's what I was cut out for, and that's what I like to do best. Um, and I, you know, filmmaking is too too collaborative for me. I like to work alone. Um, so uh, you know, I've been I've been working at it for a long time. So, uh, do you still um, selling vinyls or on discs, and why? And do you need it, or is it kind of a hobby now? Um, I, I am, yes. I work at my friend, my friend uh, in the town where I live, Oxford, Mississippi, currently. Uh, my friend owns a record store, and I work there a couple of days a week, sometimes a few days a week. Um, uh, it, it's something I enjoy doing, certainly. Um, uh, I won't say it's just a hobby. I don't make a. I, I don't. You know, I, I, it is another job. I do. I do it for money as well. Um, but uh, I really love being in the record store and um, getting to talk to people about music and getting to recommend albums that I love. And um, and uh, I also get to write a lot in the record store. It's a record store in a small town. There are kind of busy times and not so busy times, so I do a lot of work in the record store where I, where I get to work on, on my own writing. Um, what, how about your projects? And, uh, will you follow this the crime novel or what are you working now? Uh, I have uh, two other novels that I've finished. Uh, one 
is coming out in America in May, and that'll be the next one to come out in France as well. Uh, it's called The Lonely Witness, and it's a, a follow-up to Grave's End in some ways. Um, but I think, I think in some ways it's kind of a combination of Grave's End and Everything is Broken. Um, I have another novel I've finished this year that will be coming out at some point, and I'm working on a new novel um, that uh, I'm about halfway done with. Um, so, uh, but at least you know th those two novels I've finished and my short story collection uh, will be coming out in France over the next several years. What's your impression after all this uh, um, conversation with French readers? So, how do you feel about it now? Uh, I'm just honored and uh, just excited about it. I, I grew up um, loving a, a lot of American writers like David Goodis and Jim Thompson and uh, um, writers like that that uh, didn't receive a lot of recognition in, in the States and, and uh, were really admired in France. And um, so, uh, you know, honestly, it was always kind of a dream of mine to be like them. <laughs> um, so that that means a lot to me, and also, you know, I just I, I know that uh, I know that French readers are the best readers um, out there, and that that means a lot to me. You know, I love a, a lot of French literature, and um, some of my heroes are French writers uh, like Simonon and Manchette and uh, Izzo, and French directors uh, Bresson and. Jacques Demi and, uh, and uh, just lots of lots of my favorite art. Um, so uh, it, it means the world to me.